So in this video, we're gonna go into depth on how stress and anxiety can affect the digestive system. And we're gonna look at specifically how the nervous system is integrated with the digestive system and how problems there can lead to problems in the digestive tract and lead to digestive disorders. So if this interests you, if you like these types of videos, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video to get more videos like it. Thanks for watching, let's jump into it. So to understand how stress and anxiety affect the digestive system, you need some background on the, the nervous system and how it's connected to the digestive process. So the nervous system is a critical aspect of digestion and as such, stress and anxiety, because of their connection to the nervous system, play an important role in digestive system problems and disorders. So the digestive tract uses a separate nervous system. It allows it to be synchronized and respond to the local environment of the digestive tract, like when there's food present or inflammation and things like that. And this specialized digestive system is called the enteric nervous system. But this specialized nervous system called the enteric nervous system isn't totally separate from the rest of the body. It does receive input from the autonomic nervous system, which contains two parts. The autonomic nervous system contains a parasympathetic and a sympathetic. And these two things are, you can think of, think of these two tracks of the autonomic nervous system like yin and yang because they do kind of oppose one another. So the uh, parasympathetic nervous system is often thought of as rest and digest, and the sympathetic nervous system is thought of as fight or flight. And you can see the, you know, the actions of both of those are gonna be different and opposite. So the things uh, as it relates to stress, and it's pertinent to this video, the parasympathetic will always kind of be on in the background, especially when you're resting, sleeping, relaxing, and it will be shut off and more of the energy be, will be shuttled to the sympathetic nervous system when we're worried, when we're exercising, when we're generally more active. And uh, with that, you know, activity comes a little bit higher uh, stress to the body as well. And so it's sort of uh, shunting some of the energy, some of the nervous system energy in different directions based on what's going on. And so the parasympathetic is always in the background when we're resting and things like that. And it's even there when we're active or exercising and things like that. It's just that more of the uh, sympathetic is going on. So when we're asking this question, how does stress and anxiety affect the digestive system? Well, with more stress, more anxiety, it means you have a lot more of that sympathetic activity. When we're stressed and worrying, we have more of that fight or flight activity, more cortisol is produced, and the sympathetic activity is stronger and more active. And this stress signal can kind of drown out or make the parasympathetic activity and signals uh, much weaker and lead to maldigestion and poor digestion. So the question about how does stress and anxiety affect the digestive digestive system is really a question about what the parasympathetic nervous system does in the digestive tract and also what it does to encourage the natural synchronized process of digestion when food is introduced. So this natural digestive process that is encouraged by the parasympathetic nervous system includes things like directing blood flow to the, uh, the blood vessels in the digestive tract to take fuel away and allow the muscles in the digestive tract to work better. It also includes things like producing salivary juices and digestive enzymes in the stomach. It also uh, triggers a ga gastrocolic reflex where the acid in the stomach also triggers uh, emptying of the, the bowels, not in a forceful way, but it sort of stimulates release to make more room for more food coming in. This normal digestive process and parasympathetic activity is also involved with hormone production. So in the stomach, hormones are produced like gastrin, and gastrin stimulates parietal cells and chief cells to produce acid and enzymes that help with the digestive process. If there's not enough acid there, then the next step in the process 
and the small intestine will be compromised. And so when there's more stress there, it's pretty well known that some of the things in the digestive tract do not occur. So um, one of the things is there's less acid production and there's also less of the mucosal mucus production in the stomach. And that's why oftentimes when people have, you know, when you have stress and high anxiety and things like that, it can be a uh, problem for people with ulcers and can lead to ulcers. Having treated many people with anxiety and stress and many people with digestive issues, tend, they tend to be uh, intermingled and correlated with one another. So when there's more stress, more anxiety, oftentimes there's digestive issues. Not always, of course, but many times there is. And it's kind of a chicken and egg thing. You don't know which triggered which, um, but oftentimes in my experience, uh, it's more often that digestive problems are triggering the anxiety. Of course, that's not all, all the time, but many times the issues with digestion trigger more fear around food and eating. In addition to that, uh, a lot of the stuff that's going on in the digestive tract can uh, lead to systemic issues that can uh, trigger anxiety and trigger problems with mental health. Still, uh, both can be true. Anxiety can trigger uh, digestive problems and sometimes it happens in a feed forward way so you really n never really know which one is the original trigger most of the time we come at it from treating the digestive problem first and a lot of times at least partially the anxiety uh, the severe anxiety will get better all right so that should give you a better understanding of how stress and anxiety affect the digestive system if you have other questions about this particular topic, please drop it in the comment section. I might do a separate video on that if it uh, seems like it's broad enough and uh, haven't addressed it before. Other thing is uh, this topic, I will be going into more depth on things like acid blockers and proton pump inhibitors and how they can have a negative effect on the digestive process. So if you like the video and you wanna see more like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.